What is going on guys, Jimbo Videos are one here and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an advanced intro in Cinema 4D and this is going to be uh, a test of uh, flying text. I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys this already. I'm going to go ahead and switch accounts over to my gaming account so I can go ahead and give you guys a brief little... Uh, preview of what it is I'm going to be making. So this is what I'm going to teach you guys how to make. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how it is I made this. And Okay, so go ahead and watch this. Text flies in and slows down at increments and it's going to catch in and fly in relay like that. And it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that and uh, yeah so first off we're gonna go ahead and go into file and you're going to want to download the link that I have in the description it'll bring you guys to some custom Lightroom presets um, that I've compiled over my uh, time of editing <laughs> yeah, I've been editing for a while so uh, it's gonna be titled Lightrooms just go ahead and get in here the glow room is my own custom preset uh, then there's Lightroom and all these all these are fancy. I usually stick with this one or this one Just the glow or the Lightroom For this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys the custom glow room that I made So you're gonna go ahead and open it up as uh, it says jumbo Yeah, so um, Delete that just select the text uh, By clicking over here select the top mo text and just click the delete button on your uh, keyboard <laughs> pretty easy and uh, also to uh, conserve some time on you guys this part you might want to change the width to 1280 and the height by 720 you're gonna lose a little bit of pixels but the uh, ratio is gonna be exactly the same as you can see uh, exactly the same and uh, set your frame rates to 30 uh, but if you have a powerful computer like I do, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and set it to 1920 by 1080 because I have a uh, very powerful computer. It's uh, a custom built and 60. Don't do that if you don't have a good computer. I'm just just warning you guys, okay? So now you're going to want to go ahead. Uh, sorry about that. But uh, now you're going to want to go ahead and let's go ahead and start by making some text. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and just do two letters. Uh, I recommend that if you have a long YouTube name, just simplify it to a couple of letters. Uh, and one thing that's essential, uh, I'll go ahead and show this to you guys too. Uh, go into your web browser and go to the website defont, spelled like this, D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. Just go to this website. Uh, it's got very nice fonts. Uh, very easy to work with. I'll uh, go ahead and download one uh, for the tutorial purposes. Uh, this is important because it'll make your stuff look better. So, um, got lots of sections. I usually go techno and square. Uh, to avoid having the same text as someone else, I click a random page. Uh, let's go to page 15 and what looks cool here? Uh, nothing on there. Um, let's go ahead 19 and we're gonna go ahead and take keep going see if we can find something nice we're trying not to be too picky here let's go ahead and download this one uh, the quick it looks pretty interesting go ahead download it uh, and you're gonna have to unzip it if you guys don't know how to unzip it just get WinRAR uh, just look up how to get WinRAR and unzip this extract files and extract it to your desktop uh, this is very much recommended and it's as easy as that you double click it click install uh, it'll install the quick and there you go so that's now installed but uh, it is not in our font section yet I'll show you guys that uh, QRS it shouldn't be at least yeah, it's not in there. Uh, if we go through alphabetically, so what you'll need to do is just go file, save as, and save it to your desktop. And I'm gonna name it Tut. 
save it to your desktop, exit the program, open it back up. Um, also, I recommend saving at incremental points, maybe at the same points that I'll be saving at. Uh, now, just click on your text. Again, it'll select the text. And I'm going to set the text to say GP. Or actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a bit longer. I'm going to set it to good point because that's my name on my gaming channel. Uh, that way I can give you guys a little bit more context. As you can see, point is running off screen, but uh, highlight your font or highlight your text. Then go down to font directly under. And we're going to go scroll down to the T's or whatever font it is that you guys picked. I recommend picking a better font than this. Uh, this font isn't particularly interesting, but here's the quick, go ahead, select it. Uh, and now uh, select this tool so that we can drag it over. Uh, it's slightly too big, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale it down. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, just navigate up to your top bar and then follow my mouse, it's gonna be right here it's a uh, square type of shape and then you'll select any of these I usually use the red one just pull it inward towards yourself okay and then there we go so the text is now sized I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the camera angle for those of you who don't know how to do this you'll go up here follow my mouse and go through like so I'm trying not to get the ceiling in shot okay so cool uh, now let's take a render preview, see what it looks like. It shouldn't look like much. Yeah, it's completely black because there's no light in there. And I don't have time to render this, so let's not render it actually. Okay, so now let me move my text over just a little bit. I'm going to move it over using the move tool over here. I'm trying to be as uh, generic as possible, telling you guys every time I do something. Okay, so now what are we gonna do we are going to uh, usually what people suggest is to duplicate the text and uh, to make it pop out but I'm not uh, now we're gonna apply these down here so we've got blue and red I'm gonna go ahead click blue and I'm gonna change the color now make sure you follow what I do okay so change the color pick what color you want I'm gonna do lime green Feel free to copy me, I really don't care. Uh, as you can see, the color did not change. That's because this is a glow. You're gonna have to go into luminance also, and then change that to somewhat of a similar color. And now, as you can see, it is a uh, strangish looking yellow color. Um, see if we can fix that more acutely to what it is that we're looking for. Okay, that looks about correct. So now, just simply drag it onto your text. And as you can see, it is a putrid yellow. <laughs> so now, let's try to go ahead and render this. As you can see already from the render preview, it is a uh, very nice looking um, green effect. And uh, also, later in this tutorial, I may show you guys how to do a color gradient uh, change. And here's one thing that I want to show you guys. As you can see the text, it is uh, floating slightly um, above ground. I don't really want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for this to go. And there you guys have it. That's a really cool looking glow. Uh, 